this is the M1 Garand. This was developed in 1936 by Canadian-American John C. Garand for the Springfield Armory. Um, the first units reached the U.S. Army in 1938. Production was pretty slow until America entered the war in 1941. This rifle is chambered in 30 6 um, It was originally chambered in 275 Garand, which was developed specifically for the rifle, but was then ditched by U.S. Army in favor of 30 6 since we already had a stockpile of the ammo. So it was redesigned to fire eight rounds of 30 6 in a M block clip. Single fire. Ready? Aim. Fire. Rapid fire. Turn to circle. This is the M1 carbine. It was developed as an intermediate weapon between the M1 and a pistol. It actually shoots a pistol round equivalent to that of a 357 Magnum. Its effective range is up to 200 yards, but generally uh, accuracy was at 100. It was mostly carried by rear echelon and support troops because of its lightweight and portability. This is the Thompson M1A1 submachine gun. Fires a 45 caliber ACP uh, round. Uh, two magazines. One holds 20 rounds. This one here holds 30 rounds. Uh, fires about uh, 500 uh, rounds per minute. Uh, it's a select fire of single shots or full auto. Uh, it's a for close in fighting. Uh, it doesn't have very good range. You know, anywhere through past 100 yards, miles will forget it. But uh, when you're up close, uh, face to face with the bad guys, yeah. it's outstanding in tight confines, especially uh, in urban environments. This was the preferred weapon for officers. Uh, it was not felt that enlisted men needed a personal sidearm. Officers would either carry one of these or they would carry the M1 carbine. It would carry an eight round clip inserted into the butt of the gun and would load and shoot. It's a semi-automatic and would uh, be effective short range only, anything under 50 yards. Uh, not very accurate on anything over that but uh, mostly used for personal protection. This is the M1903 Springfield, one of the um, uh, main rifles used in the First World War, but when it came to the Second World War, it was heavily used in the Pacific for its uh, precise uh, accuracy, but uh, in the uh, European theater, they were mainly used as sniper rifles. 